All right, let's see what characters they got. Yo, yo, we got yo. Pithra. And, and then the oh, 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 I was getting hyped. Oh, okay, the Link. You know what? I still mess with Link. Um, this matchup really comes down to if Link can edge guard uh, Pithra because the onstage pressure is going to be a lot. Link needs to find these kills off stage with moves like Bomb. His Nair is fantastic at edge guarding them. Um, but it's going to be really hard for him to camp with a character as fast as Pyra and Mithra. Yeah, a character that's just all up in your grill. That's why he's got a... a I'm glad I like to see uh, more like boxing options from this Link. You know, he's, he's going in with the nares and stuff rather than just running away with the projectiles. So, uh, let's see. Right. Okay. Yeah, this is where it gets really hard for Link when he's, uh, when he's in disadvantage. It's really tough because Pithra is so amazing at juggling. Uh, the one advantage that Link has is that he actually fast falls 30% uh, more than every other character in the game. Oh, His sick. fast fall actually goes at 90% speed, while every other character goes at 60%. Oh wow! It's a, it's a normally Link with his um, how floaty of his jump it is. He would have a really a, like a mildly slow fast fall, but because they added that modifier, he falls extremely fast when he does a fast fall aerial. Oh nice! Yeah. <clears throat> so. In this situation, um, I'd say Yodeo, or uh, Thimble, I guess, is trying to push him to ledge. Link really sucks getting off the ledge. Um, and even if he can camp in the corner, it still puts him in a not good position. Okay. Ooh, the boomerang Ooh. fair confirm. Big hit, big hit. Ooh, that oh, that could have healed him. That was good evasion from Pateo. Oh, you know, that's actually really interesting. So, bo bombs and stuff like that in this game, they always explode when they get hit by a fire like any kind of fire, like a fire breath oh. from Bowser. Oh, so Pyra's awesome. sword actually counts as a fire move, so when she swings at it, it'll blow up the bomb. That's really interesting. I wonder cool if there's, in. oh yeah. Well, tries to go for the edge guard. Oh, uh, that might do it. Oh yep. yeah, that was really good uh, coverage. He covered both the high and the low recovery with that. Oh, gets the foresight. Yeah, you can kind of mash that out of some combos that would normally be true on every other character. Because um, they, DLC things, you know. just DLC privileges, you know. Yeah, tries to go for the down air. At this percent, I wouldn't look for down air as much because it, it's pretty hard to confirm into that up air after like 120, 130 ish. So puts him in the corner. Oh, I like that. The, the patience. Wave. That was a good conversion, but Fateo swings. Uh, I'm surprised he's using more down air than he is nair. Yeah, there's the nair. Because if you nair, you can then do his fastball. Uh, because you have to use a certain move to break out of tumble there. Ooh, Fateo missing the fair. Yeah, ooh, I like that. Tech chase. Ooh, yeah, he goes for the bomb, the tricky bomb, but the, the boomerang sent it up. Normally, if you shoot a... Uh, oh, that was really good. If you shoot a uh, Link's bomb with an arrow, it does way less, like... Uh, vertical knockback and it just like makes it slowly fall off stage. It's a really good way to set it up for edge guards. But he hit it with the boomerang which kind of sends it up. Yeah, no, that was really cool. I'm not familiar at all with either of these characters. Yeah. Gets the jabs. Um, I'm not surprised Mateo's trying to slow down the game now that he has a lead. He kind of doesn't really have to commit to anything and, um, you know, as good yeah, right as Pyre and Mithra are at approaching, uh, it can be kind of hard sometimes. Ooh, barely dodges that. He drops the bomb. Yeah, that's a really good setup. Basically, when he Z drops the bomb from that height, every time it bounces, it has a hitbox. It has a so it's hitbox. it's like putting a gyro at ledge, basically. He oh. tried to shoot the uh, bomb with an arrow there. I'm pretty sure to like oh. set it off stage. I really like the nares there. Uh, this it's is game one. Look at one. Oh, blow him up. Uh, He's lived. Still living. Shoots the arrow. Oh, that's it, dog. Nice snipe. Span, Smashville, and Hollow Bastion. I would, I agree with those picks. It's kind of small stages that Pyra and Mithra can overwhelm characters like Link by just running at him with moves like Nair. So giving him, giving himself a bit more space is uh, probably the play. Oh yeah. I could understand Probably. the battlefield play. Probably big uh, battlefield. Pyre and Mithra, one of their biggest advantages is their juggling game. Um, so, because their moves, moves like their up air, their up tilt are super disjointed, and you can kind of spam them even, and they get a ton of damage off juggling. So, a stage like battlefield uh, can be really good for Pyre and Mithra to just keep sharking the platforms with up air and stuff. Oh yeah. 
And uh, I'm pretty sure Link could also get some catch catch Pyra's uh, landings pretty well. Uh -huh. All right. Let's see. Goes for the Nair conversion. Yeah. If you get right in the middle of the platforms, Pyro and Mithra's up air literally covers every single option. Um, because they're they're just big enough to hit the entire platform. <laughs> oh, back throw. I like uh, Thimble just retreating to center stage there. I think having center stage in this matchup is really important. Um, I mean, it is in almost any matchup, but especially uh, a matchup like Pyra Mithra, who has such fast burst options that can kill really early or like set up into bad situations for Link. So. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Up throw? That, yeah, on the top platform at 140, it definitely kills. Down throw up B. Yeah, that's just good damage. It's a. Uh, I think it's just their easiest bread and butter for damage. Yeah, oh yeah, they take those. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really like how uh, Fateo's using his boomerangs to uh, all the force to keep her out. Link's boomerang actually gets safer the, the closer he throws it to his opponent. It's pretty ridiculous because uh, if he throws it in the first like you know seven frames of the boomerang throw, it's actually a, the strongest hit, and that's the one that combos and does the most damage. But it's also way safer on shield than the the weaker and medium the medium and weak hits of the boomerang throw. So. Oh. He can actually throw it up super close, and it's just safe on your shield. And starts combos, and does a crap ton of shield damage. It's pretty busted. No, hell yeah, it gives them even more reason to... Yeah. Those downers have really been working out for Fruteo, but... Somehow he's down to one stock. I feel like it's... I, I don't even know No, yeah, this is a... It's, this is a much this is faster a paced... Game, yeah, much faster paced game than... Uh, that's fun. Downer, oh, smash. Still lingers, but he gets the weak hit. And Yodeo seems to have, or uh, Thimble seems to have da adapted really well here. Oh, yeah, does the boomer and the bomb recovery. That's probably the right play there. Throw a bomb. Oh, I'm so, okay, he knew he was dead. Okay. All right, this is still pretty, yeah, definitely still winnable. This is a, just a couple conversions or an edge guard for Link, and uh, things could be looking hairy for, for Thimble. Oh, I like the, the attempted tech chase. I can understand why he'd expect rolling in. Okay, hits him with the up smash. And All right, that's gonna do it. It's a game three. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, you got that, dog. <laughs> All right, let's see what they pick. If I had to guess on a stage pick, it's probably going to be something big like Kalos or uh, PS2 for... Um, for Futeo, yeah, I think I having a lot more space is really, really helpful for yeah, no, fighting Pyro and Mithra. Uh, though, though that top platform did help him out game two with the up throw. Yeah, the up throw. We'll see. Uh, we'll see where they go to. And PS2, it is. Yeah, I had a good feeling. Yeah, I think um, having more space for him to throw projectiles is going to be really important. So. We'll see that Plus a lot he won. Match. He won game one on PS2 as well, so it's probably a pretty comfortable stage for him. Yeah. Three, two, hey, that's my goat water tamer. I love it when Lynx uses a uh, forward smash at zero when it does like the laser beam. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I think it's actually a really insanely good projectile. It's just he can only use it at zero percent, which yeah, kind of yeah. sucks. 
love that shit. Um, not able to make it back. Oh, getting an early start. on a great start this game. Oh my, I wasn't even paying attention yeah, to that. He, he, he's, uh, <laughs> he's going in on this fella. Let's see if he can get the edge guard here. Yep, bomb. Here it's a pretty much a rinse and repeat. They got no jump, so. Oh, tries to go for the forward smash. Forward tilt would have been much, much more effective there because it actually hits the two frame. Even if uh, they recover all the way down there, it still hits that area when forward smash does not. That bread and butter. Okay, this is kind of looking like a, a bit of a slaughter here. It's looking, re oh, get that bomb. Okay, okay, this is still very it's winnable. Still on the board. But yeah, but uh, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a mountain to climb for sure. Uh, he's gonna need to hit some, some quick conversions there, and uh, nickel and diamond down. Link is heavy, so it makes this a lot more possible, but. Um, I like the patience. Yeah. He's definitely going to have to be patient here. Going for those full hops is uh, not working out too well. Oh, gets the, oh, the forward smash. And that's Good it. Thimble takes it 2-1. Great adaptation, I have to say. Yeah, it was, he was Such looking, a great turnaround. Yeah, game one. game one, he was looking like he was getting clapped up a little bit. But game two, he beat him pretty solidly. And game three, he kind of ran him over a bit. We'll see.